America has fallen in love with Giants rookie quarterback Tommy DeVito. Yep. The Jersey born Italian kid who lives with his parents and loves chicken cutlets and along for the <laughs> ride are his family, which at last count was about 235 <laughs> members. And this guy, let's see, where is he on the video? Right there. Sean Stellato, a guy DeVito calls the Italian stallion of agents and who coincidentally is this weekend being inducted into the Italian American Sports Hall of Fame right here in Chicago. And Sean Stellato joins us this morning. Look at you. <laughs> huh? Hey, how we doing? Hey, que se dice? Ah, si. How are you doing? You doing? Listen, I, I mean, how have things changed? When was this? Five days ago? Was that how many days ago was that? I believe it was four five, days yeah. ago. How much have things changed in four days for you? You know, I think I might need a, a double assistant now, but. Uh, it's been pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But at the end of the day, you know, you sign up for the Super Bowl wins with you guys. Yeah. You sign up for the losses, and you sign up for moments like this. So I'm very blessed. I'm very laser focused, like my clients are. Tommy, yeah. he's getting ready for New Orleans. But it's been, it's been fun. Uh, but we're, you know, in this business, is, it's an opinion-based business. You're, you're judged by your last deal. You're judged right. by how you service your guys. My clients are constantly under scrutiny, especially when you go undrafted and you're an underdog. Uh, but we love the, dealt, uh, the hand we've been dealt and, and very blessed right now to be in this, this moment and have these opportunities. Have you, um, uh, have you, have you, you, you got to have a little heat to yourself right now, right? I mean, are guys starting to reach out? Like, Who's this uh, Stellano guy? Who's this guy with the hats and the, and the suits? And, uh, are people, are you starting to get a little more heat yourself from uh, professionally? Yeah, I mean, I'm the same guy as I was when I, I grew up, eight of us in a three-bedroom house in Witchcraft Heights. Um, and a proud dad of four amazing daughters and my wife, Krista. Uh, very, very b blessed by that. But, yeah, I'm getting a lot of calls. But, uh, honestly, it's all about Tommy. Yeah. Uh, whatever comes on top of that, hey, we'll, we'll analyze it. But at the end of the day, um, I've got a job to do as a sports agent. And um, my, my success is, you know, by representing them at 120%, brokering deals on and off the field, and helping them create opportunities for not just the NFL uh, that short stealth life of average lifespan is 3.3 years, but right. for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Did you, what did you see in Tommy DeVito that nobody else did? Grittiness, underdog. Tommy and I are so proud by our Italian heritage. Yeah. And that is the root of our, our foundation, of our, our brands, our, our uh, greatest accomplishments. Uh, uh, for me, it's my children. For him, it's being the second kid out of Cedar Grove to really create a legacy. Um, my job is obviously, as his confidant, is, is to go into this and analyze talent. But Tommy's not a recent sensation. Tommy was an Elite 11 guy. Tommy was 2018 dark horse for the Heisman Trophy. Tommy was, you know, went out to the Oregon Open and outperformed Tua and then went to Syracuse. And let's face it, schemes, coaching, politics. It everything. It does. And he reinvented himself in Illinois. And I stood on the table draft day. 28 teams said no. And um, I got a credit. It's a testament to uh, Coach Gable and Joe Sheen and the Giants organization for recognizing this is, a, this is a talented young man. And it's about projecting value, you know, and that's, I think, important in how I've been able to have uh, a viable business and, and having my own company for 10 years. Yeah. Um, I operate kind of like a general manager and sports agent because I played the game at every level. Yeah. And um, he's, a, he's a great kid, humbled and uh, hungry, yeah. you know, just like our ancestors. When they yeah. came from, right? you know, Ponte Grande, <laughs> San Bias, right. Let, Captain Zaro. Let's get into this, okay? <laughs> yeah. I know you're talking about your shared Italian heritage. I share it with you myself, my friend. I want to find out how Italian Sean Stellato is. I got a little quiz for you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to ask man. you some questions. I'm just curious, a little barometer on, on how you see things. All right, I, oh. I call you up and well, I, I, say, get, I, I say, Sean, I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going to be at the house in 30 minutes. What are you going to have on the table for me? I gotta have chicken cutlets. I'm yeah. gonna have uh, some red wine, and uh, probably gonna have a, a little, uh, yeah, a, a little, little gelato, and a little antipasta. Little you know, yeah. my my wife loves olives. You know, yeah. we went to uh, Punta Grande, and I think we ate more olives than we ate in our whole life. Uh, but that's what I'd do. Okay, uh, I give you a nice gift. Uh, do you simply graciously accept it? 
or do you accept it and then immediately search for a gift to give me in return because generations of guilt don't allow us to have something nice without reciprocation? Yo, I, reciprocation is my right. middle name, and I would give you a very nice gift you got basket. You, right? And maybe even, you know, share the kiss on the cheek. How dare you give me a gift and not expect one in return? Your daughter, many years from now, she falls in love, she brings the guy home to meet you. Nice guy, you like him. Two issues. Number one, he's not Italian. Number two, he's a vegetarian. How long is that conversation <laughs> with your wife after the two of them leave? I think I'm going to give him the uh, Rocky Balboa stare down and maybe yeah. give a little extra uh, handshake, a little harder on his hand. Yeah. Uh, but I would say we'll give him a couple minutes, and then if not, I'm going to let my boxer dog out to pay him a visit. Top three favorite movies. Oh, this is good. Natural. Rudy. Come on, there's one space left, and it better be filled by one of two movies. And you know what those movies are. Rocky. Okay, one of three movies. And we gotta go Karate Kid. No good fellas. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta rewind what about that. The Godfather? I'm getting a. Hey, look, it's been all Italian all week. Yeah. I gotta show love it's to been other a long day. But I would say no, add Bronx Tale to that. Last off, how many times per week, on average, is one Francis Albert Sinatra played in your home? <laughs> Uh, I wake up to him. I play Frank every Sinatra every single the day. Answer. And you know, the beauty of this thing is, Frank, I listen to a song and I'm doing it my way. There you go, baby. The 44th <laughs> Annual Italian American Sports Hall of Fame Gala is tonight at 6 at the Belvedere in Elk Grove Village. Chicago, Sean, thanks so much. Chicago, Continued success, my friend. Thank you, my man. Great having you. Oh, thank you so much. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around.